Hi, Demi. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Okay, before Hello. I go into now the Declan Rice, let me ask Demi about the Manor Solomon situation. Hey, bro, how are you doing? Uh, I'm I'm good, thank you. Great to hear. Great to hear. great to have you, by the way, here for the first time at Step Ups First. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, how how are things in Ukraine? Uh, well, we're managing. We, we we are doing what we have to do. It's just. Yeah. Great. My, uh, our well wishes are with you, man. Uh, yeah. I want to ask Thank you a little bit about the Manor Solomon that situation. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is what is going on there? Like, why Shakhtar is like suddenly saying that uh, if Spurs were to sign Manor Solomon, why mm -hmm. would Shakhtar be suing us in a way? What's that whole situation like? Isn't it that he was a free agent or sort of like on loan to Fulham, and now it's up to him that he can actually leave on a free? So if he were to join Spurs, like why would it be a, uh, why why would it be that Shakhtar Don Donetsk would want to sue us? Mm -hmm. uh, just trying to understand that. Mm. Uh, maybe Shakhtar doesn't want to sue you, you exactly, but uh, football government uh, football government bodies, uh, because uh, uh, yes, yeah, due to war in Ukraine. Uh, FIFA allowed to um, uh, Article Seven uh, 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 amendment that uh, uh, allows players from Ukraine, uh, Russia, and if I'm not mistaken, Belarus too, um, yeah. to to just uh, leave on uh, free transfer uh, on, their club. on free transfer. No, 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 not free transfer, but on loan. At, at their will. Uh, oh. uh, yes. Like so Shimanski, what... Shimanski at Feyenoord is on loan from Dinamo Moskva. Mm -hmm. That's an example, mm -hmm. right? right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what exactly what uh, Solomon did when he moved to Fulham on loan. But uh, like Shakhtar never wanted that loan. And uh, actually, uh, actually, Shakhtar tried to persuade him to. Uh, 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 return for at least this uh, half a half a year of his contract that is left with Shakhtar uh, to play at least the next Champions League. But it seems like uh, he and or uh, his uh, agents are unwilling to do so. Uh, he may be he maybe has a right uh, to choose his next destination because he has only six months uh, of the contract left. But I, uh, it's not entirely clear to me. Um, uh, but uh, Shakhtar is generally dissatisfied with uh, this uh, situation. So if he chooses uh, uh, to move to another club on his accord, uh, again, uh, uh, Shakhtar is considering to just you football uh, bodies. Uh, I don't think it's uh, anything personal about Tottenham or something. I see. So it's not, it's, not, it's nothing to do with Tottenham itself. It's basically just the amendment of the rules and all that because it's kind of unfair to them that they just mm -hmm. allow a player to go on a loan and now that player is leaving on a free to another club and then Shadda gets nothing basically, right? Yes, because uh, when they go on, uh, on loans uh, under that amendment, uh, they don't... Uh, 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 prolong their co contract with Shakhtar. It's uh, just times goes by and uh, it's all over. So it's uh, just Shakhtar uh, feeling unfair about the whole situation. So I that. see. Yeah. So it's, mm. it could, could it could come out as a situation in the court of the mm. European Court and FIFA. all that. I think that they FIFA. have. Is it mm. FIFA? Yeah, because yeah. they are no. So they said, mm -hmm. let me look at the news. So Shakhtar say that unhappy with FIFA's decision to mm -hmm. amend and I seven other uh, uh, of regulation of uh, yeah. So they are unhappy with FIFA's decision to amend Annex mm -hmm. Seven of regulations mm -hmm. on the status of transfer of players following the outbreak of war between Russia and Ukraine. The regulation mm -hmm. change allow foreign nationals employed in either country to uh, unilaterally suspend their contracts if they wish to leave the region. Uh, Solomon did mm -hmm. so to join Fulham last season, but the winger still has a year remaining on his Shakhtar contract and is believed to be looking mm -hmm. for another club in England. 
FIFA recently announced that NX7 would be extended through the summer of 2024, prompting a fierce backlash from several clubs affected who believe they are being unfairly punished in losing revenue through transfer income. Shakhtar estimate NX7 could cost them up to... Oh, okay. So I'm kind of now understanding what's going on mm-hmm. here. Uh, uh, it's kind of most of the risk, but uh, I, I'd like to add uh, another thing that is happening. It's... Mm-hmm. Um, FIFA made uh, made changes to Annex uh, 7 because uh, uh, all of the clubs are unhappy w- w- with it in an, in an uh, affected countries. So uh, under new rule, uh, new players that uh, that will come to Ukraine or other uh, affected countries. Uh, Will not be uh, uh, will not be allowed to use it, uh, but uh, it seems like uh, players like uh, Solomon that already use they they might be uh, allowed to use it again, but it's not entirely clear. So there is a le- uh, uh, legal uncertainty. What do you think as a player? Let's say the, the, the issue gets mm. resolved legally in court, mm. whatever. Mm. Mm. I like Manor Solomon for me personally. Yeah. Demi, you've watched him far more than me. I watch, mm-hmm. like, uh, you know, I talk with you a bunch, man. We've done Europa mm-hmm. League, watch all and shit, whatever. Uh, in terms of the player, I like the player. I do. Mm. Um, what, what do you think if he, if, what do you think of Manor Solomon? Um. I think he's a great player with lots of potential that is hindered by uh, uh, by his endurability. He, he has a few underlying yeah. um, uh, chronic injuries, yeah. recurring chronic injuries. Yeah. Uh, and he's uh, not so very effective defensively. Yeah. All the other than uh, these two weak links, he's uh, pretty magnificent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Quick, uh, good, yeah, yeah. Feet, good finisher, mm-hmm. tidy. Mm-hmm. He work. He, he works hard in terms of pressing. In terms of, mm-hmm. Fil- mm-hmm. It, you're right though. Going back and forth is not his thing. He pushes mm-hmm. a lot of energy mm-hmm. in the. Final third mm-hmm. kind of Yeah. How how about his passing mm-hmm. ability to the forwards? Like, can is he like a player like Ericsson that he can spot runs uh, uh like that, and then he can pass to let's say, let's just say if we have Kane or or another forward, would you be would you be able to supply to assist? With... I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah. Is he is he does he have like those De Bruyne type of abilities? No, not De Bruyne. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not saying that he's like De Bruyne, mm-hmm. but can he but a playmaker? You want to yeah, know? As a playmaker. You want to know as a playmaker? Okay. Yeah, how is he as a playmaker? Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, he's not exactly uh, a playmaker. He makes his own luck. He uh, yeah. he makes his own uh, uh, moments. He's uh, mm-hmm. um, he's um, a great short and uh, short dribbler and great. Yeah. Uh, uh, he has a great starting speed, uh, uh, n- nice dribbling capabilities overall. Yeah. He, uh, when he imp- employed at the left wing, he likes to c- cut inside and use yeah. his right foot uh, uh, to make finishing strokes. He did that a lot in Shakhtar and Fulham, yeah. uh, in his national team. Israel, uh, yeah. So it, it's his uh, signature move to. Uh, cut inside and uh, take a shot. Uh, th- yeah, yeah, and finish with, with the right. He's a uh, he, he kind of sports moments like er- Ericsson, but uh, but it's not uh, it's not in his nature to uh, to play that way all the time. For me, uh, is he a moments player, Steve? Is he a moments player? So he's, gonna... he's a here. He, here's how I describe him. He's not the player that's going to link up other guy. He is, like I say, he's a good finisher. So he's the guy that receives the ball and then takes care of business from there. He can pass and do other stuff. That's not the primary skill of his. Well, if you're gonna sign up Manor Solomon, you're gonna sign him up to. I want goals from the left, and I want him to 
the you know link up with fullbacks as well. I thought I thought he, that that relationship was very important as well. Um, and for me, and and here's my other question, Demi, because obviously you want we me and you both watched Celtic play Shakhtar home in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, do you and and obviously Paul Sokolko is now at Spurs. Do you, does it make sense why Manor Solomon is linked with uh, Spurs under Pasta Coglu? Like, do you think Manor Solomon could play for a Pasta Coglu team in terms of what you saw from Celtic? Mm. Yeah, that's um, a good question. Uh, yes, I absolutely think he is. Uh, I think he, he will be a great asset for, for Spurs, even, even, even if he wouldn't be a first cho- choice player uh, at the time. beginning especially yeah he is very tight from uh, uh, as a substitution uh, um, and by the way at Shakhtar uh, especially at first he was uh, also adding uh, very much value if he comes like at the uh, 16 uh, 60 minute mark uh, yeah. um, uh, he'll uh, he'll add uh, more depths to Tottenham, absolutely. It, as an impact sub, um, yeah, as an impact, mm-hmm. kind of like how we use Alan say Maxima this year. Mm-hmm. He hasn't been starting games for or Anthony Gordon mm-hmm. off the bench brings energy, pretty direct. That's that's how I describe Mano Solomon. Could he be a starter? Absolutely, but I think he'll be. Yeah. Obviously, you've got Son off the left. He's not as good as Son or productive, but if Son moves on, you have a player. If if Man or Solomon went to Spurs, that I would I would think, yeah, you could do well, absolutely. Yeah, according to his according to his heat maps and the positions that he has played in the transfer market, he's more of a winger than a, yeah than a midfielder in uh, from yeah, yeah he's right? a winger yeah, yeah, yeah winger winger definitely a left winger and and that works because Buster Kogu plays four three three yeah yeah I think he'd be a good uh, signing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, he, he can play at the right wing uh, as yeah. well. Le- less so at the center. He can play at all attacking uh, midfield positions. Uh, yeah. But uh, left wing is by far his best yeah. usage uh, because of, the, of those cuts and sides and uh, r- uh, right leg usage. Yeah. Yeah. Totally <clears throat> agreed. Because that's a signature move: cut in, right, yeah. shoot. Yeah. <laughs> For me, also, I like instinctually Manor Solomon. He doesn't what he he knows exactly what he's gonna do, and he doesn't he he you know some players that they'll dribble 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 too much and they don't ever pull the trigger. Solomon, for me, he has his mind made up. He's gonna dribble dribble and take a shot. It might get blocked. It might get but you he decision making like he knows what he's doing. It might not be the correct decision ten out of ten times. But you're gonna see consistent decision making in the final third for me. Um, mm-hmm. That's one thing I also mm-hmm. like about Solomon. And to, yep. it will almost uh, all the time stir uh, uh, stir uh, um, defensive problems in the final third for the uh, for the opponent uh, defensively. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. How how is he in terms of his his consistency? Like, does he get a lot of injuries, or does is he a bit more of a consistent player? And how is he in terms of his discipline and his coordination with the managers, and in terms of his team play? What kind of personality does he have? Also, uh, he's he's a very professional. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, he's ve- he's very stable. Uh, I, I think uh, um, he's a uh, very uh, he's very great uh, psychologically, uh, hmm. but um, that's an add-on. Uh, yeah, but he likes uh, he injures uh, like once in half a year for like few weeks. He's out. Wow. Mm. Once in half a year, he will be like out. Oh, yeah, that that can be a bit of. I think that's similar to like the issues that we had with Ben Tanker. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, because Ben Tanker is also kind of like good. He's good mentally. He is. A, he's a pro- good professional. But uh, yeah, his injuries are a bit of a concern. Mm-hmm. If I'm looking yeah. at, if I'm looking, I'll look up on transfer mark how he is. Mm-hmm. But um, this past season, he was injured from August. It says until December. 
uh, for Fulham, and so that's why we haven't seen too much of him. And also that Willian was was also doing well on the wing, and and and, and some other wingers at Fulham. But yeah, I think um, yeah, I agree with Demi. Um, and I, I and the other strength about Solomon for me is I think with both feet, that's why he can also play off the uh, off the left or right. I think with both feet, he's he's, he's pretty impressive. Uh, technically, yeah. So he so he dribbling. missed about and he missed about right. seventeen. Sorry, uh, demo. Go on. And when he's uh, on the right wing, uh, he employs his uh, right leg to make uh, a, pre a pretty accurate, not entirely consistent, but pretty accurate crosses. Uh, yeah. In the penalty area. Yeah. <clears throat> that yeah. would help. Like, let's say if we have Kane still around, that would definitely help with, uh, with Kane and Son if he's playing either on the right side. Because Kulu, let's say if Kulu is injured or something and you need to kind of rotate, then I think he would be the perfect sort of a player to, either, to play on the either side of the wings as well. Anything yeah. else you want to add on, Demi, on this? Uh, uh, no, I, I guess I'm done. Thank you for, ha uh, for having me. Uh, I think he, he'll be uh, uh, a good addition to Tottenham if, if, if should he move. Yeah. Yeah. Great.